Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to Geeks and Gamers Play and some good news for indie games. Sons of the Forest is a massive success in its early access. I've played this game for a couple hours. I had an absolute blast streaming it. It is really good. I think they've taken a lot of what made the first The Forest game and just kind of expanded upon it and made it better. Yes, it is in early access and you do run into some bugs, but honestly, I didn't have anything game breaking. I didn't see any more bugs than a modern AAA game. I only ever had one issue with one of the players I was playing with started to fly and they had to restart the game, but that was about it. All in all, I'm having a lot of fun with it. It is a PC exclusive and like I said, it is early access, but it is cheap. If you're looking for a game to play that's a survival game, I think you will really enjoy this. So Sons of the Forest was released in early access state on Steam and within 24 hours since it launched, it has produced staggering the most unexpected numbers. On Steam, Sons of the Forest has secured a peak play account of 350,000. Again, this is for a Steam exclusive early access game by an indie team. By way of comparison, GTA 5's all-time concurrent play account on Steam sits at just over 360,000. So this is just shy of that. Not only that, but Sons of the Forest has launched a peak viewership on Twitch of about 769,000 viewers. That's really good beating peak records set by the likes of Modern Warfare 2, Apex Legends, Escape from Tarkov, and Overwatch 2. Now, while it didn't hit that 1 million mark, keep in mind, it is a Steam early access game, so, and made by an indie team as well, so pretty good. And within that 24 hours, Sons of the Forest has sold in 2 million copies. Like, all in all, this is a big win for indie developers. So weeks ago, the developer of Sons of the Forest and Night Games announced that it'll be launching the game in an early access state, so to avoid any delays or postponements. And I will admit, when they said they were doing an early access, I was very worried. It seems to run pretty smoothly for the most part. I, like I said, I didn't really have any issues. So it was stated they'd be essentially relying on the community to provide critical feedback on the game and to ultimately understand that there may be some sizable bugs present. I didn't find that many. Like I said, that one player that I was playing with started to fly, but that was about it. So regardless of that fact, Sons of the Forest has launched in a remarkably good shape, and despite being exclusive to PC, it is pulling massive numbers. Since launching the forest back in 2014, Ed Knight Games has expanded its operations, moving well away from being a mere four-man team, which is what it was when the forest was developed. The growth has enabled the firm to broaden Sons of the Forest far beyond what its predecessor was, introducing a much bigger map, more complex mechanics, and an AI companion system. I can't talk too much about the AI companion because mine died, uh, I hit him over the head with a rock and he died. So in a report by Rock Paper Shotgun, it was suggested that the launch of Sons of the Forest was so popular with so many players trying to download it that may have crashed Steam's launcher. And I think that's been confirmed. Like I was asleep at the time of it happening, but quite a few people did tell me they couldn't get into Steam at all when Sons of the Forest was up. So Sons of the Forest crashed Steam. Currently, Sons of the Forest is the top selling game on Steam, which comes as no surprise given the numbers it's achieving. It's the kind of game that will experience a sharp drop off in the coming days, agreed, but it's still a remarkable launch period for Sons of the Forest and for Ed Knight Games. And I will also add that it's a big success for indie developers in general. Like I said, I think this game is well worth checking out considering its price tag is pretty cheap at the moment and, you know, get in on early access, so maybe it will go up when it goes into full launch. We'll see how it all goes. But you tell me, have you played this game? Let me know in the comment section down below. Be sure to subscribe to Geeks and Gamers Play and check out geeksandgamers.com. And I'll see you all in the next video.